Hello, my name is Tim Gerhardt and I'm from LabStrong. Today we're going to replace the heating elements in the Fivestream 3. This is an 8 liter per hour system and it actually is the same procedure for the 4 liter by distiller and also the 4 liter. They're all Fivestream 3 families so they'll all be the same to replace. It's just one has, this has two double boilers, double boiler system, whereas the Fivestream 3 4 liter per hour system has just a single boiler. Now we're going to remove the door from the 8 liter per hour Five Stream 3 system. The Five Stream 3 4 liter per hour system, single distilled, has the same type of door, it's just a little smaller. So you're just basically going to lift up, pull out of the bottom, pull the top down, and you remove the door. Set that aside. Now we're going to go ahead and remove the top cover. Top cover for the 8 liter, 4 liter by distiller, same size. The top cover for the 4 liter Vice Room 3 is just a little smaller, but still has the same two blanking plugs that you're going to remove from the top. Phillips head screwdriver, two Phillips head screws. I'm just going to go ahead and remove the screws from the front. And once those are loose, you can pop the front up, and then the back are just two bolts that are elongated in elongated holes, just slide it ahead. So you find the opening and then pop the top cover off and remove it. Set that aside. Now, this is where we can get to the installation of the heating elements, which is very important. The heating element will be shipped in the box. Once you remove them from the box, each element is going to have plastic union, which you remove the bottom portion of the plastic union. Take that, set your element aside carefully. Each element comes with this reunion, which has bottom ring, the split ring, and then the top portion stays with the element. So each one of these that you install, you're gonna put the bottom ring down first, then the split ring, because you're split in there. Put that down over top of that boiler section, and then this is ready to accept the top half of the heating element unit. So you slide the element down inside, Once that's down, there's a stop on the element sheet that won't let you go down any further. Once that's stopped, you can bring the bottom part of the union up to the top. You just tighten those two together. You don't need any kind of tools to tighten this. This is just to keep it in place. It's not to seal it from water or anything, just steam, but just hand tight. That's all you need. Once you have the element installed in the boiler, and you have the union tightened down, you're going to want to move the grommet. Always be careful to move the grommet up and down the cable. Never pull the cable out from inside the glass sheet because that would actually overheat the element. So always slide the grommet up the cable to get it to the proper spot and location. Slide the grommet into the opening and you're set. So that's the installation on the heating element. And once you get them all installed, you would just have to make sure that they're nice and straight. If they're not straight, it could get too close to the over temperature protection device, which is that, that copper coil. You can actually move these a little bit to kind of turn them so that they go away from there a little bit. So they're more in the center between the outside of the glass boiler and the actual copper over temperature protection switch. Now that you have the elements installed in the boilers, you want to route the cables down through the back out to the right hand side of the unit so that you can connect them up to the power relay. We're going to go ahead and install the cover back onto the system. As you remember, we had two screws in the front that we removed and we have two bolts in the back that set into elongated slots back here. So we're just going to go ahead and locate those elongated slots, put the bolts in them, slide them back. There we go, line up our front, taking our Phillips screwdriver. We're gonna tighten up the screws. Reinstall our blanking plugs. At this point, we can reinstall our door. 
slide the front of it, top of it, up inside on the front. Bottom slides down, and the door's back in place. Now that we have the four heating elements installed into the boiler and the top cover back on, we're going to need to gain access to the right side panel, which is where our power relays are at, and this is where we're going to need to connect up our heating elements. For the five stream three, eight liter per hour system, we have two power relays, B, right hand side, A, left hand side. We're gonna, we're gonna connect up our left hand elements. There's two of them. We got element number one, element number two of the left hand side. So take the blue wire that has the pigtail on element number one, connect it up to the top connection of the A relay. We're gonna take element number two, blue wire with the pigtail, connect it to the bottom of A relay. Then we're gonna take the brown wire from element number one, connect it down to the bottom pigtail, blue pigtail on the bottom connection. And then element number two, the brown wire goes to the top connector, blue wire. So they're crisscrossed. Element number one, blue down here, here. Element number two, blue down here. The blue brown wire from element number two goes to the top, and the brown wire from element number one goes to the bottom connector. So we're just crisscrossing. That's how you connect up for the left hand side relay. Now that we have the left hand boiler connected, relay A, we're going to connect up the right hand elements boiler for relay B. So we take right hand side element number one, element number two, we take the pigtail blue wire, element number one goes to the top, the blue wire for element number two goes to the bottom, we take the brown wire from element number two, put that to the pigtail on element number, element number one blue wire, element number one brown wire is going to go down to element number two blue wire. So all we're really doing is we're just crisscrossing the blue and the brown. And that's how you connect up the right hand side relay to relay B. Now that we have the heating elements connected back up to the power relays, we can go ahead and put the right side panel on. Once the right side panel is back on and the front cover is on, top cover is on, the system is ready to be operational. Thanks for watching. At LabStrong, we are committed to making your lab life easier. For additional assistance, please contact the experts at LabStrong.